steps here to figure out a way to, like you say, work with the nuisance riders. Loud mufflers are, you know, they're out there now and they're trying hard to work with them, but DNR is struggling because once they get on the river, they can go. And those are most likely the riders that are never going to come in and register anyway. So this ordinance, I think, hopefully will help the good riders be able to go out and regulate the I guess I, and I have a question uh, for those who own some of this ordinance is that um, what what purpose or what function does this do to allow ATVs to ride on granular surfaces? Uh, what business do they have out in the country? I mean, that's uh, our granular surfaces are primarily in our rural areas and, um, uh, you know, what's, what's the The difference is, is, I live out in the country, um, I don't own farmland, so I'm not able to take my ATV and ride down the, the gravel road to a neighboring house, to a neighboring business or anything, or a farmer or somebody else who does have farmland out there can take theirs and go do it. But can they, can they legally do that? Because I believe the farmer can only do that for the farming operation, so he cannot take his ATV down it to the neighbors just to visit <coughs> to a neighboring business. So farming somebody out there riding up and down the gravel road that doesn't have a plate on, it's not clearly identifiable, and then hopefully somebody's able to contact the sheriff or have a control to find out what their purpose out there is. So they're not tearing fields up, not, I mean, not doing donuts in the road. Because there, as everybody knows, are a lot of riders out there already that we cannot get a hold of, cannot identify, and if they are a nuisance or doing something illegal, can't prosecute them. Now, I have no objection to the, to the plates and the identification of I asked the question to Randy a couple weeks ago um, about the, the idea of letting ATVs ride on the shoulders on blacktops in order to get to the gravel roads. And uh, my concern being, uh, does this expose the county to more liability? And I'm still concerned about that. <laughs> and um, I, I also have an ATV, and I understand it would be convenient, but I also understand how um, it will compound problems if we allow more ATVs out in the countryside where it's going to be much more difficult to regulate and make more rural property accessible and more difficult. If you're out there in a, in a rural area trying to do things that you shouldn't be and you're in a, in a regular vehicle, your, your choices for getting away are much more limited. If you've got a vehicle by which you can go cross country, it's going to be much more difficult to apprehend. So I'm concerned about the, the enforcement, the law enforcement of uh, the donuts and things like that. If you see somebody doing a donut and they take off through the woods on their ATV, great job to catch them. It is, and that's been a problem in Pullman. Yeah. Um, I mean, Larry's been reporting right. those. Right. And so I'm just concerned that by allowing greater areas of use, we're allowing greater opportunities for abuse. If, if you have a legally registered three wheeler or four wheeler with a flag and mirrors and everything, can you legally ride in the road ditch? No. You're not by yourself, though. No, you're not by yourself. The ditches inherently ditches the ditches inherently are illegal. Yeah. Other than a snowmobile in the winter. The reason for that is there's a <laughs> snowmobile that snow so it doesn't tear it up. A four wheeler or <coughs> car or whatever you want to drive in the ditch is going to tear up the ditch in the summertime. And a snowmobile, because of the snow, won't. And that's the way that most states are. Even Minnesota, you can't. You know, and then their trails, you can't have studs on their trails up there on some of their other trails. Um, but inherently, for an ATV or anybody else, it's illegal to be in the ditch. Is it illegal when it snows for ATVs? Yes. At one point, Several years ago, if there was an inch of unplowed snow on the road, you could ride your ATV in. But that law has been repealed. But Sheriff, in your estimation, passage of this ordinance will tend to hinder, or it will tend to help, or it will have no bearing upon illegal riding throughout the county as we uh, experience it now. Well, with the other counties, 
counties that have this, I think um, what time is shown, and, and John has uh, legitimate concerns. The, the, as I say, the ditches and all that are illegal regardless. I don't care if they drive your car in a field, they're, they're, it's illegal. Um, so, and some of that, I think this ordinance will actually put some teeth, helps us a little bit. Um, we had talked about the registration plates before, which I'm all for. I think there was one thing I thought was in the ordinance that, it's back there, that uh, to ride on the shoulder of a, of a black top to the nearest gravel road, I think that, uh, you know, to ride out of Coleman to the nearest gravel road is illegal in my opinion because it's too far. I think the word reasonable distance should be in there, no more than. So I hate to put an actual uh, number on it, but I think maybe reasonable distance, because I... It would be like crossing the highway or something like well, that. Crossing the highway is fine, or if you have to ride half a mile down the shoulder to get to the gravel road, fine. But if you have Coleman, how far are you going to have to go to get to the gravel road? Long ways. Yeah. To me, that it, that should be illegal. Right. And that is county, so we <coughs> go again. How many of these little towns around here got this problem? We all know well, they do. A few do. Um, Lehigh's one of the main ones, but uh, and, a, and a few of the towns have called and, and they're, they want to do this, but they want to make a route in to like Casey's and then out, like they do with the snowmobiles in the winter. And all the towns have done that, or the majority of them have, done, especially in the southern part of the county yeah. where the snowmobile club is. But, uh, I think. I'm not sure that we're going to see a big influx of illegal activity with them, John, because the ones that are out doing that now, we're still going to have them. We're not going to have an abundance of more. A lot of people, because of this ordinance, aren't going to go out and buy ATVs and become idiots. No, I, I you know, agree that there's not. But people what, what we have out. now, that group, we're still always going to have. But it's, it, yeah. it, in my opinion, it's going to make them more bold. Well, but I think now we have some teeth, we have a little extra teeth, and if we have the plate, um, what what my what I've talked to some of our deputies, and, and what my directive would, is going to be if we have this is if we pull somebody over for tearing up one of the, the gravel roads, or they don't have a driver's license, or they don't have insurance, which they have to have by the Iowa Code, um, for any reason they can't drive that away. We're told Unless they got somebody right there with a pickup to load that thing in, I'm not leaving something like that by the ropes no different than an OWI yeah, we're towing it. So uh, uh, besides the fine, the state bill fine, they have the ordinance fine, and now they have a tow bill. And we are going to be, uh, if this passes, we're going to be, try to be, we don't have the manpower to be a lot more, but we're going to be a lot more diligent. If they go down the creek, obviously, and we wrote some tickets last year of people driving on the stream bed, because that's it. Regardless, unless it's closed. So, um, is it going to stop the, some of them from running away? No. But not having the ordinance is not going to stop them either from running away. Have you ever thought about getting one for your department? We have a, what a, we have a side by side. Do you? That we use, well, maybe <coughs> down to Dayton for the search. And we've used it for things like that. Yeah. The problem is that I am not going to, if I have somebody on an ATV, obviously then they're not out patrolling the other part. And then I don't have anybody that I want to turn loose with an ATV, nor will I ever have that I'm going to have chase them on an ATV because the, the possibility of getting hurt is way too high. So I'm not going to do that. The thing is though with the ATVs, if we have the ordinance and they're out there, Obviously, um, not, we're going to treat it. We'll be treated the same as a as a, as a cart pursuit. So the more cars that 